Hello friends. Today we are going to read Sam's Christmas Present. The author is Annie Besant. The illustrator is Alicia Souza and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Sam's Christmas Present. So who do you think is Sam? I think Sam is this boy here in this picture and it sounds like he got a Christmas present. So let's see what he did with it. Sam was a very curious boy and what he was curious about was his Christmas present. So here is Sam and he is very curious. He wants to know what is going on, why is it going on, why is something some way and he is curious about his Christmas present. He is always thinking about it. Mommy, where is my Christmas present? asked Sam. She smiled and said, It is hidden in a secret place, Sam. Sam stuck his tongue out and went in search of his father. So Sam first asks his mother where his Christmas present is. It's not Christmas yet, so any presents are hidden. And his mother doesn't tell him where it is. And so Sam goes to search for his father. Daddy, where is my Christmas present? Asked Sam. It is hidden in a secret place, Sam. His father replied, smiling. So next what happens? Sam asks his father. His father also doesn't. Tell him where it is. I know what to do, Sam said. I will go gift hunting. So what does that mean? Sam is going to look for his present. He looked behind his father's desk and he found a gift box wrapped in red paper. But this is for Aunt Juju, said Sam, reading the tag. So he did find something that is wrapped behind his father's desk. But when he saw the tag on it, right, there is a tag on the box that says this is for this person. That tag says it's for his aunt, so it's not his present. So he slipped into his parents' room and he found a gift box wrapped in gold paper. For Uncle Alfie, Sam read aloud from the tag. The next present he finds is also not for him. It's for his uncle. Then he opened his mother's cupboard and he found a gift box wrapped in purple paper. For our daughter Sophie was written on the tag. So the next box he finds also has somebody else's name on it. This is his sister Sophie's gift. Sam went back to his room and sat on the floor feeling very sad. He had badly wanted to find his present. And then he saw a gift box wrapped in silver paper under his bed. So what happens finally? Sam goes to, to his room. He feels very sad. 
that he is not able to find his present and so he is sitting there feeling sad and then he finds something under his own bed and it's a gift box wrapped in silver paper this is for me he shouted reading the tag so guess what happened sam found his present sam shook the box he turned it around in his hands what was inside oh what could it be did he open it or leave it in the secret place are you curious to know what curious sam did with his gift so what did sam do with the gift box he found he shook it and he is turning it around trying to guess what's inside the box and then finally what do you think he did with his gift box did he open it let's see he put it back under the bed and decided to wait for christmas so it looks like sam finally did not open his gift before christmas he decided to just leave it there until after christmas i hope you enjoyed the story thank you try these questions in this story what are sam's good habits and what are his bad habits have you ever wanted to do something your parents did not want you to do did you do it how did you decide whether to do it or not 